Hi, this is James from tracymat.co.uk and from boxings.com and like when Matt unboxed the HTC One X the other day, he had a plain white box, we've also got one and this contains the uh, the One S that HTC have kindly just sent us. So uh, let's have a look what we get in here. We've got the device here on top, we'll uh, put that to one side and come back to that in just a moment. Uh, this clearly isn't retail packaging so uh, uh, we will get some extra stuff in the retail box but uh, we've got our uh, 3 pin UK wall charger there uh, of the uh, USB variety. The sync charge cable obviously uh, goes in that end. And we've also got some headphones. Uh, these aren't Beats Audio ones, these are just normal HTC ones uh, with the inline button. I'm not sure actually if you get the Beats Audio ones with the phone, I would have thought so. Anyway, I'll put that to one side and uh, come back to that in just a minute. So taking a quick look around the device, uh, over on the left hand side we have our micro USB port. On the right hand side all we get is the uh, up down volume rocker. Nothing on the bottom apart from our small microphone hole. And then on top we get our 3.5mm uh, our audio jack and our power button. Over on the back we have our 8 megapixel camera lens and our camera flash. And then the uh, nice HTC logo and the, uh, the Beats Audio logo at the bottom there. And then on the front we have our speaker grill at the top, which is the, uh, the sort of pin prick designed ones into the which is into the unibody design uh, shell. Uh, we have our front facing camera, and then obviously at the bottom we have our three capacitive touchscreen uh, buttons. Now to put the SIM card in here, we take this uh, this top section off, and then the SIM card or the micro SIM slots in there like so. There we go, clicks into place, and then we put this back on. There we go, and uh, the phone is on. So the uh, obviously the uh, the One S is running ice cream sandwich with the uh, HTC Sense uh, over the top, and the, uh, the the actual software will be much the same as uh, um, on the uh, HTC One X that we. Uh, we did the video for. Uh, so this will, just, this will just take you through the setup. Um, so I might as well connect to the Wi Fi as we're here, just put my password in. Just wait for that to connect. There we go. Click the next button. Uh, we won't bother signing with an HTC account at this point. And now it's uh, given us the option here to sign into Dropbox because, uh, like with all the, uh, the HTC One Series phones, uh, as well as the onboard storage, you also get uh, 25 gigabytes of free Dropbox, Dropbox cloud storage, which is rather nice. Here we go, we're up and running. So the uh, the One S is the uh, sits in the middle between the One X uh, and the One V. So this is a, this is a device has got the uh, the four point three inch screen, uh, sporting Gorilla Glass. It's only seven and a half, uh, sorry, seven point eight millimeters uh, in thickness. So although it's a four point three inch screen. It feels absolutely glorious in the hand, and it doesn't feel as big as some of the H, uh, some of the 4.3 inch phones that I've, I've I've sort of had hands on time with uh, in in the past. It feels really really nice, and uh, this unibody design has got the uh, sort of metallic uh, design on the back, and the, the the top part and the and the bottom part are actually plastic, but it feels good. So we've got 16 gigabytes of. Uh, built-in internal, uh, internal storage here, a uh, gigabyte of RAM, um, the screen as I say is 4.3, it's 540 by 960 pixels, um, 256 ppi pixel density. Um, as I said the camera on the back is an 8 megapixel camera, um, video it will support full uh, 1080p HD at 30 frames per second, so uh, 
we've got all the good stuff in here and it's powered by a dual core 1.5 gigahertz processor so it should be pretty nippy so as you would expect uh, HTC is made up of uh, various home screens like so and these are all customizable with uh, with widgets and shortcuts one on there at the moment oh no we, we, although we haven't got any music um, obviously pulling down the uh, the notifications tab at the top will show you any notifications you've got and then at the bottom of the screen um, we've got five icons we've got the telephone we've got a mail one we've got a messaging one we've got our camera one and our, our one for, for the main menu let's just jump back for a second to the lock screen uh, obviously we have this, this circle design at the bottom which we flick to actually unlock the device but alternatively um, if we want to open one of these uh, four logo uh, icons that are on the screen we just pick one up and drop it into the circle and that will uh, automatically open the uh, that particular application. The lock, the lock screen is customizable uh, there's nothing here in this section but within the settings we can actually uh, we can actually change that Let's, uh, Let's have a quick look at that now and see if we can we can do that. Um, there we go. So we've got options uh, here. I think we'll, we'll stick the weather one on there. There we go. So it's picked up my current location in Enfield and it's showing it's 14 degrees and it's uh, nice and sunny. And obviously when that starts you get the uh, the animated effect so jumping into the main menu let's see what we get uh, get on board here it will be or it should be identical to that on the uh, the one x so we've got the seven digital music store we've got a calculator a calendar a camera let's have a look at the uh, uh the, the user interface here for the camera so top left hand side we've got our uh, flash options we've then got our uh, settings here so, as I say, the top resolution is 8 megapixel. Oops. Um, and the old video one uh, is full HD. Uh, at the bottom of the screen, we have our uh, little bar to zoom in and out there. And uh, like on all three of the new One Series devices, um, we've got the camera shutter button and the video button on screen, and that's because we can actually record video um, and take stills at the same time which is pretty cool. Uh, that blue button up at the top right hand side that, that's the effects there's lots of different ones there distortion, depth of field, dots, monochrome, grayscale etc and then at the bottom we have our uh, sort of preview field so uh, let's just uh, test this out. Nice and quick and uh, like on the other one devices if we hold down the shutter button we get a rapid fire um, and then we've got the option to actually choose the best of all of those that have been taken. And if we start recording video like so and then we can press the camera shutter, and camera shutter to take pictures. Nice. And then jumping into the preview, this takes us into a gallery where we can uh, we can view the, the the photos that we've taken. Oops! And by touching the screen, we've got the option to also to uh, to share with our uh, social networks or upload it to the cloud or email that particular picture, that sort of thing. We could also edit the picture. We should be able to crop it and uh, alter the effects and rotate it left and right, which is which is nice to be able to do that without having to use a a separate application. Um, we've got our car dock which uh, as far as I'm aware this only works in uh, landscape mode not in portrait so uh, this really needs to be docked in the car but it will give you quick access to your phone, uh, your navigation, your music, your internet radio. Very nice if you're going to be using it in the car. Uh, we've got a clock uh, the clock's pretty cool on here. If you didn't see the uh, the One X video, this is pretty unique because uh, obviously we have our different time zones, but they're also shown on a on a, on a map as well, so that we can uh, 
you can not only see where the, the, the various cities are around the world, but you can uh, you can also see what the weather's doing in that particular city. And adding a new city is just a case of uh, tapping the uh, the icon at the, at the top of the screen, and you oops you start typing. Like so. Jumping back out, we've obviously got our uh, Dropbox that I mentioned about. Um, I can't show that because I'm not signed in. We get an FM radio, Facebook, uh, flash player settings, the flashlight, our friend screen, photo gallery that we've just seen, Gmail, Google Plus, the HTC Hub, the, uh, the internet. So uh, let's have a quick look at the browser on this thing. And you can see here the uh, the stock keyboard that it comes with, which takes up quite a lot of the screen, but it is very nice to use. But obviously, if you don't want to use this one, you can always uh, download a, a another keyboard from the uh, the Play Store. So we click on Tracing Map and see how quick this is to to load. Not bad, and no checkerboarding, which is always nice. Nice and smooth. Obviously, tapping, uh, zooming is done by either double tapping or, or pinch the zoom, and that obviously uh, will rotate into uh, landscape mode as well. Oops, I've just clicked a link. Nice. Up at the top right hand side, we've got a um, tab there to get into our bookmarks, that sort of thing, and our settings. Screen is very very nice. Color, I don't know how well this comes out in the video, but the colours are sort of really uh, really sort of vivid and uh, bright. The uh, very impressive. Let's jump out the uh, browser and go back into the menu. So we've also got latitude, locations, mail, maps, messages, uh, the Messenger app for Google Plus. We've got the Mirror, Movie Editor, Music. Let's see if there's any pre-installed. No, there's not. But we'll obviously uh, test out the music when we do the, the full review. Uh, we've got navigation, news and weather, notes. Um, it's brought up the Orange Plus one because I put an orange SIM card in there. We've got PDF viewer, uh, people, personalised. And again, this is just where we, we've seen this already, just where we'll, uh, you can change the, uh, the wallpaper and that sort of thing. Um, obviously, we get our live wallpapers as well on here. And let's try that one. Get a pre preview of it. That'll do. Nice. Um, what else have we got here? We've got playbooks and play movies, um, and this will take us into the uh, into the play shop but into the uh, either the books or the, the movies category and then we've got the actual icon for the play shop um, we've got the office application that will allow us to uh, create um, word excel powerpoint document so that sort of thing as you can see very nice great for business users and then on the final screen, we've got the Google search, we've got our settings set up, uh, show me, SoundHound, Stocks, Google Talk. We've got Task Manager, which we can use to uh, manage the, the running apps on the, on, on the device, so we can either close the, the ones we want, or we can actually uh, disable all of them, just with one touch. Uh, we've got Task, we've got Tita, which is the, uh, the, the game that we've, we've got all the HTC devices. Uh, we've got a radio application, Twitter for Android pre-installed, voice recorder, HTC Watch, which is uh, where we can uh, either purchase or rent movies. I'll just uh, load that up quickly. Maybe not that quickly. Try to scrap that idea. Um, we've got the weather. We've got the Wi-Fi hotspot. So as long as your carrier uh, will allow you to use it as a, a Wi-Fi hotspot, you can do. 
and we've got the uh, the YouTube application. So let's have a quick look and see uh, what uh, what this looks like running video. We better look at an HTC phone. That looks pretty good. So that's what we get pre-installed on the uh, on the device itself. Um, now these buttons at the bottom do serve a, a couple of other purposes. Uh, tapping the home one will give us HTC's Leap View. Um, alternatively, you can give the screen a pinch to do that, and uh, that will allow you to should have jumped to the different home screens. Um, also, the button on the right-hand side. Press that, and that will uh, show the recent apps. So. Uh, your multitasking so you can jump back and forth between uh, between the applications you've, you've been using so pretty nice look good it feels good hmm, nice work HTC but obviously we'll have a, a full review of this uh, on the site in the uh, uh, in the next week or two but in the meantime thank you very much for watching see you later